how we have a flow for our movement today. We're going to really just take it down a notch, but there are still going to be places where we are going to be challenging ourselves to hold positions, to fill a stretch, and just to slow down. Sometimes slowing down can be more challenging than those super high intensity training sessions. It's kind of like life. It's sometimes easier to just keep going, staying busy, and it gets really hard to just slow down and rest. So we're going to kind of uh, keep that with us today and just remembering that it may feel a little awkward, it may feel, feel a little different from what we are used to, what we think that we enjoy, but it is truly important for us to take the time to just slow down, focus on some stretching, focus on our intentional movement instead of just rolling straight from one move to the next. So we're going to start with wrapping our hands to our shoulders, stacking our elbows, and we're going to drop our chin down to our chest. Inhaling and exhaling, you're going to feel a nice stretch in your spine. Keep your shoulders pulled back. Be intentional with your breath. Let your inhale fill up your belly. position on your mat. Go ahead and do so. We are going to reach our arms up nice and tall. Inhale and exhale fold. Halfway rise and fold. And again, halfway rise and fold. Now place your hands on the mat. Step your feet back. And we're going to go into a downward dog. This time though, don't worry about your knees being straight. If they need to be bent, that's fine. And just push back into this stretch here. Pressing your chest into your thighs. And I want you to make sure that you're pressing through your palms. Pushing away through the floor. Don't forget your breath. One more breath. Inhaling. Exhale. I want you to shift down to your knees. And now we're going to shift all the way back onto our heels. Child's pose. Just fully relax into this pose. Whatever it is that you have going on later today that may be in your mind right now, let it go. Whatever may be weighing on you, let it go. Just be present right here and right now. Inhaling and exhaling. Go ahead and shift up into a tabletop position. So you're on your knees. We're going to roll our toes under and on our hands. We're going to warm up these wrists. So we're going to lean forward and we're going to shift backward. And again, forward. 
and back. So you're just rocking back and forth, really warming up your wrists. One more just like this. And now we're gonna go around in circles. And reverse, go in the other direction. Control your breathing. And lift up on those toes that are rolled under into a high plank. Using your hands, pressing away from the mat. If you need to modify here, you can come here onto your knees. We're engaging that core. Tucking our pelvis to our belly button, pushing the ground away. I want you to take your right knee into your chest, and I want you to lift up and then bring that leg through to the mat. Drop your left knee down and reach up, arms over your head. You're going to feel a nice stretch here in your hip flexors. But I want you to be active, so you're actively pushing here into this stretch. And pretend that you're holding something super heavy up above your head so your arms are actively engaged as well. And we're gonna hold. Keep breathing. You're gonna feel a nice stretch here. Push through your front heel as well to really activate your hamstrings. And take those hands back down to the mat. Step your left foot forward and you're gonna roll up nice and slowly, reaching up to the sky. Stretching and fold. Step that high plank. And we're gonna do the same thing on our left side. So get in your position, push the floor away. Pull your left knee in and up. Hold it and bring it through. And drop your right knee back down into the mat. Reach up, holding that heavy something. and not forgetting your breath. You're gonna feel this stretch again in your front of your, if you have your left knee down, you're gonna feel this in your hip flexors in, your front, in the front of that thigh. Push through your left heel as well to really engage your left hamstrings. And hold here for one more breath. And take those hands back down to the mat. Step your back leg forward and we're going to go into chair pose. So squat hold, chest is up, arms are extended. Feet are, feet and knees are both together or they're both separate. So your feet are not going to be separate and your knees are pressed together. They're either both going to be separated or they're both going to be together. And hold. And rise. All right, take your feet out nice and wide in your mat. We're going to drop down into a goddess pose. So we're going to take it down nice and low. Also, sumo squat. And we're going to hold it right here. And we're going to shift from right to left. Very slow, gentle shift. And pause in the middle. And lift. Shake your hips out from 
side to side. Breathing. And we're gonna sink back down. And this time, we're gonna shift all the way over into a side lunge. And then we're gonna go back to center and shift to the other side, side lunge. Inhale down, exhale up. Pushing through the heel. One more each side. All right, I want you to twist to the front of your mat, hands to the mat, step your foot back, put the foot on the mat, and we're gonna be here in a high plank again. So meet me in high plank. And I want you to pull your right knee to your chest. Lift up nice and tall, and now drop that knee down for one, up. Two, up, three, up, and foot goes back down. Shift into a down dog. Lift up on those toes, roll through to high plank. We're gonna repeat, left side. Left knee up, reach, reach, reach. That back, and now down for one, two, three, and back to down dog. Roll those toes back. And bring that right knee through. This time, we are going to twist to the left elbow. One, two, and three. And back to down dog. Roll forward, left knee up into the chest. Left knee, right elbow for one, two, and three. Shift back, down dog. Hang right here, rest, catch your breath, and let's go ahead and come down to tabletop position. We're gonna cat cow. So I want you to inhale, drop your belly to the mat, and exhale nice and slowly around that side. And again, inhale, drop the belly to the mat. And exhale. Just flow through, inhale and exhale with this move. I saw you found 
Go ahead and extend those feet all the way to the end of the mat. Carefully roll all the way down onto your back. We're going into our Shavasana, which is the resting phase of this movement today. You are still in motion. Your body is still in motion. You can relax your breath and let it just go back into its natural state. This may be the place where you want to just turn off the screen, but I invite you to stay here with me for a few minutes as this is the one of the most challenging poses. This is actually a pose and exercise because you have to remain so still. So I invite you to just hang here with me and have a heart of gratitude and not let your mind fill with all the things to come or all the things of the past, but just to be here now, be present right now and breathe and relax. Soften your jaw. There's a mosquito at my ear. <laughs> Soften your jaw. Relax your face. Hang out here as long as you need to. The video will end and you can continue to stay in this resting pose as long as you need. I just thank you all for taking the time to slow down with me this morning or whatever time of day it may be that you are um, intentionally moving your body, intentionally slowing it down.